to our preschool and kindergarten graduation for first homeschoolers under God. So we're excited about the evening. The graduates are happy and excited waiting outside. And we have put this on Facebook Live in case you want to look at it later. It's there for you. You are welcome to take as many pictures as you'd like. And we hope that you enjoy the presentation. Let's all pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this wonderful day. What a gorgeous day it is outside to celebrate these young children and the things that they've accomplished so far in their learning. Lord, I thank you for these group of mothers and fathers who have invested so much in their children from the day that they were born. And Lord, it's our goal to teach them just as you've instructed when they wake up in the morning, as we walk through the day, as we sit and eat, and as we go to bed, Lord, I pray that you would help us to be ever mindful that these children have been entrusted to us, that we should instruct them in the ways of the Lord, that they would love you and glorify you all the days of their life. Lord, I thank you so much for the teachers who have spent the days with them here in our co-op, um, the moms who have come and invested their time, who've loved on all these children, who've laughed and cried with them and enjoyed the days with them. And Lord, I pray that they would have a love of learning because of what they've experienced with these women. I thank you so much for our preschool director, Patty Green. Lord, I pray that you would just bless her in a very special way for her investment in these children. And I pray that you would be blessed tonight as they perform for their parents and for you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now as we get started, I want to introduce you, if you don't know her already, to Patty Green. Patty, come on in here. This is just a representation of how much she loves these children. And I guarantee you their hands have been all over her, just like this through the whole two semesters that we've been here, and I just want to turn the program over to her. Thank you so much, Ms. Hi, good evening. It is so nice to be here, and yes, I love all of your children. They have been such a blessing to me this whole year. If you could go ahead and start the music, they're going to come on in. Okay, I'm just going to 
read to you something. You may all be seated now. Thank you. Dear parents, I give you back your child, the same child that you entrusted in my life, in my care last fall. I give you back your child, a little bit older, a wee bit taller, and a whole lot smarter. It has been my pleasure and privilege to watch their character, personality, and intellect develop week after week as we learned new things together this year. We have lived, studied, learned, laughed, sang, and grown up together. We have became a close-knit classroom family and will always be a part of each other's lives. Remember that I will always be interested in your child and their destiny. Wherever they may go, whatever they may do, and whoever they may become, I look forward to the day when I hear that familiar name linked with great accomplishments. Thank you for sharing your child with me. Okay, the kids are going to sing uh, a cappella because we couldn't seem to download the music for them. So we're going to sing the days of the week. You ready, guys? Days of the week. Days of the week. Prayer. 
Her sister used to ask for a little sister, and I would tell her to pray to Jesus. Her mama wrote this. After a while, she had decided she was done praying. One day, we had company over, and the kids were playing upstairs, and my friend and I heard, overheard her sister telling her little friend that her mom was pregnant with a sister. I turned to my friend sitting next to me and informed her, this is news to me. Then the following month, I was pregnant. And the sister would point to my belly and say, she, she always referred to my belly as a her. I told her we don't know yet, but sure enough, Eliana is 100% a girl, no doubt. Her middle name is Nehru, which means a river. We pray that she brings life and nourishment everywhere she passes by and always flows not a dam, but a living running river. She was born June of 16, a perfect baby. She's almost five years old. Eliana loves singing worship music. She dances for Jesus. She loves animals, coloring, and playing in nature. She likes helping her mom cook, set the table. She's also learning Turkish, and she's been to Kenya and Turkey last year. Thank you, Eliana. This is our little kindergartner, Ella. Ella McGaffigan. Ella learned a lot this year. She knows and can write the uppercase and lowercase letters of the alphabet. She can recognize several sight words and sound out small words. She can read and write simple sentences. She knows all of her shapes. She can count past 100. She can count by fives and tens. She can do addition and subtraction in the double digits and more. Along with reading, writing, and arithmetic, she did things like science projects, arts and crafts and learned about animals and nature. She knows her days of the week, months of the year. She can also find the USA on a map and pick out several American states. She loves going to the library, Lego building projects, and creating pictures and cards. She is proud to be an American Heritage girl and enjoys ballet. Thank you, Ella. <laughs> this is my little burger, Jesse Hall. Jesse Matthew Hall. Jesse made his grand entrance to the world on December 30th of 2015. He has always been a very active little boy. At 10 months old, he wore his first pair of dance shoes, dancing in his walker, and he still loves clogging and dancing with mommy and poppy to this day. He steals the show at every single performance. At two years old, he got his first pair of skates, and he continues to skate very, very well. He learned to ride his bike with no training wheels at three years old. As we end our wonderful preschool years, Jesse can read about 110 sight words. He knows all of his colors, shapes, and numbers. He can add and subtract single digits. But most importantly, he knows why we celebrate Christmas, the true meaning of that very special holiday. He knows what Easter means, and he knows what Jesus done for him three days before Easter. He's a very happy, rambunctious boy ready for kindergarten. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> Kayla Van Duzer. Kayla is five years old, and her favorite color is purple. She wants to be a homeschool mommy when she grows up. <laughs> Kayla is a hyper, funny, and adventurous little girl. She also, she's also a cuddle bug and loves to cuddle up next to her mommy on the couch and watch a movie. Kayla loves going to Disney, play outside, swim, go camping with her family, and sing at church. She has three sisters, two dogs, two cats, and five chickens. <laughs> Kayla has come a long way since she was adopted by her now forever family in November 2019. Kayla has gone from not speaking at all or saying a word to singing at church and singing at the top of her lungs in the car. Kayla's family is very proud of her and loves her so very much. Last but not least, Miss Kennedy Rose. <laughs> Kennedy Rose. Kennedy is five years old, and her favorite colors are pink and blue. Kennedy wants to become a firefighter when she grows up. She is a sweet, giving child that loves spending time with her family, especially her cousins and friends. Some of Kennedy's most favorite places to visit are the beach. Disney World, Legoland, and the mountains. During the evenings at home, Kennedy enjoys playing outside on her bike, scooter, climbing trees, and watching her pet, owls, as well as playing board games and playing dress up. Thank you, Miss Kennedy.
Okay, now they're going to do a song called My God is So Big. I want you to know they have practiced long and hard on this. And the parents, thank you, thank you, thank you. They've worked just as hard as these kids have. You can go ahead and start it. responsibility of giving once a commencement address for graduating from kindergarten that that's uh, like, be, like that's like kind of like being told to eat ice cream really really fast <laughs> it's both a challenge and wonderful at the same time right that's what it is uh, there was a guy and listen there's an author a man by the name of Robert Fulgum you've not heard of him but he wrote a book entitled I learned everything I needed to know in kindergarten. Just a few years ago, the name of the book was I Learned Everything I Needed to Know in Kindergarten. So guess what, guys? You learned just about everything you really, really need to know, and that's the truth. Let's give them a hand for learning those important things. Now, there's a lot more to build on that foundation. In other words, the foundation of your life is has been laid and is in the process of being laid. Now, you just want to kind of build on that foundation. So I'm going to give you some brief instructions from the Bible. And this is for parents and kids. I'm going to talk to you first. It's from Psalm. How many of you heard? The, how many of you kids have heard, heard of the book of Psalms in the Bible? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Okay. There you go. It's in the Bible. The book of Psalms. Have you heard Psalm 23? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Have you ever heard that before? Maybe, maybe yes. Okay, all right. We got one here sharp as a cracker. Everybody else, there, they know it. But uh, I want to talk to you about a verse from Psalm uh, Psalm 100. The verse goes like this. Serve the Lord with gladness. Serve the Lord with gladness. That means be happy. How many of you kids want to be happy? Raise your hand. All right. The Bible says, serve the Lord with gladness. The Bible does not say, Serve the Lord and be sad. Does the Bible say that? No. Serve the Lord and be angry. Is that what it says? Serve the Lord and be really proud. Is that what it says? 
Serve the Lord with gladness. That means be happy wherever you go, whatever you do. God wants you to serve Him and be happy about it. Now, how many of you like to play? Raise your hands. Can you be happy when you play? Absolutely. How many of you guys and girls like to go to McDonald's? Raise your hand. Are you happy when you go to McDonald's? Absolutely. Now, how many of you like to go to a, a park or even a theme park like Disney World? Raise your hand. That is really fun. Now, how many of you like cleaning your bedroom up? We got one. Do you like cleaning your bedroom up? How many of you like every now and then maybe picking your plate up to the dinner table and taking it to the sink? You really like, I don't like doing that. You like, that's my wife. It's obvious I don't like doing that. Uh, at least to her it is. Uh, how many of you like going to bed when your mom and dad say it's time to go to bed? Don't raise your hand. You don't really want to go to bed. Most of you don't want to go to bed. But the Bible says, children, obey your parents. So when you're obeying your parents, when you're obeying your teachers, when you're obeying those in authority over you, you are actually serving the Lord because that's what the Bible says to do. So did you know that when your parents tell you to finish eating your broccoli, you can be happy about it. Why not be happy? There's no need to be sad. You're serving the Lord. Your mom says, eat the Brussels sprouts or eat the broccoli. Tell me something you don't like, Jesse. Name one thing you don't like to eat. Does anybody know something they don't like to eat? You like to eat broccoli or you don't like it? It's yuck. That's what he says about broccoli. Well, you serve when you're met with, if your mom says, listen, I want you to eat your broccoli. You may not like it, but you can be happy about it because you're being obedient to God. Serve the Lord with gladness. So anytime you've got to do some work for somebody, someone tells you, you've got, I've got a task for you to do, you don't have to be sad and dour and mad. If you want to be obedient to God, you should serve the Lord with what? Serve the Lord with gladness and by serving your parents, by honoring those like grandparents and teachers and other people that tell you what to do, you're actually serving God with gladness when you need to happen. Now, parents, I want to talk to you real briefly. The children, when they're children, will model what you do. This message is for you as well. You need to serve the Lord with gladness. Serve the Lord with gladness. Be happy about it. I'll tell you right now, in the room with this many parents, uh, there's got to be someone in here that doesn't like going to church. Or, you know, you, someone says, honey, let's get to go to church. Oh, boy, I really have to do that. You know, uh, that, it ought to be something to happen. Going to church, and that's just one part of being spiritual. There's so much more than that. But uh, when you make spiritual things to your children look like it's something you really don't want to do, but you kind of have to do it because it's kind of like eating your broccoli. Your children are going to get the message, church and spiritual things, that's not something that's really fun. That's not something I can really be happy about. No, your children need to see you being happy about things that matter, things that are spiritual, because if you're not happy about it, they will see that that is a burden to you. Spiritual things are a burden to you. And did you know, if spiritual things are a burden to you when your children grow up, that it won't be a burden to them. You know why? Because they won't do it. They won't be interested in spiritual things. Because children, as they grow, they don't mind carrying their burdens, you might say. But children, as they grow up, they do not want to carry their parents' burdens. So make spiritual things something that's fun, something that your kids will enjoy, something that you're excited about, because that will help make them be excited about it as well. So remember, serve the Lord with gladness. All right, everybody stand up. Man, you, you guys can stay seated. Are you about to say stand up? Now repeat up for me one time, and then we'll be finished with what I'm going to say, okay? Everybody say, hello, look at me. Say this. Serve the Lord with gladness, and let's all say that together. Serve the Lord with gladness. I think you learned that lesson tonight. God bless you kids as you continue to grow and get educated. Just serve the Lord with gladness as you do it. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for, these graduation certificates. So I'm going to give them out one at a time. Charlotte, you have to come up to Miss Patty. Thank you.
Eliana. so much for coming. We have refreshments next door in the fellowship hall. You're welcome to stay. Please do. I have a cake that feeds about 100 people and I'm not taking any home. So we have leftovers for sure. So you're welcome to uh, take some home if you'd like. Did you need to speak? Oh, we need to say prayer. Yes. Thank you so much. All right, guys. I want to dismiss this with prayer. Okay. All right. Let's all bow our heads together. Then we're going to go get something to eat. Okay. Dear Lord, thank you for all of these kids, Lord, they're so full of potential. And Lord, in this group, we may have a, a president of the United States. We may have somebody that may become the greatest evangelist in world history. We may have someone that uh, is a, becomes a famous sports figure. We may have children here that become fathers and mothers. And Lord, they're so blessed, so full of potential. I pray each one of these kids would grow up and love Jesus with all their heart. And I pray for their parents. Lord, I pray a special blessing on their parents. I pray their parents would uh, grow to love Jesus as well with all their heart. Help them be a good example to these kids because they've got such wonderful children, such uh, wonderful young people that are one that will one day be adults. And they have such a great responsibility. It's so awesome and so wonderful all at the same time. So bless these parents and bless these kids. Thank you for the food that we're about to eat. Thank you for all these kids have accomplished. What a great thing it is to graduate from kindergarten. That is so wonderful. Thank you, Lord, that they have all done that. They've all accomplished this great task. Bless us now as we go out from here. And thank you again for the food. Thank you for those that provided this food so wonderfully for us. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys. You're dismissed. Hello. Hello.